Thanks for watching WCCO streaming now on CBSN Minnesota. One woman is dead and another in stable condition after an explosion and fire leveled their River Falls home. Crews arrived last night to find the house engulfed in flames. The structure eventually collapsed, leaving nothing but rubble. Reg Chapman reports from Western Wisconsin where questions remain about what caused this tragedy. St. Croix gas crews have been in this River Falls neighborhood all day, going door to door checking gas lines at neighbors' homes who live here along River Hills Road. Those crews could be seen doing underground tests as well, making sure there were no issues with other homes in the area. Many took time today to drive by, looking at what's left from the explosion and fire that claimed the life of one of their neighbors. Saw a massive flash and felt my entire house shake. Jacob Deal was one of the first neighbors who ran outside to see if he could help. He says one of his neighbors had already ran to the aid of the woman inside the home. She seemed to be blown into the corner of the house, and he managed to be able to find her underneath some rubble and reach in and pull her out of the house. And in a matter of minutes afterwards, the house collapsed. 75-year-old Martha Galstead was taken to Regents in St. Paul. She died from her injuries. Her daughter, 42-year-old Carrie Galstead, is in stable condition. Her 18-year-old son was not home when the house exploded. The family pets, a chocolate lab named Lola and a golden retriever named Rosie, did not make it out of the house alive. You know, just trying to help them come back from nothing. Neighbors are coming together to help this family. They set up an account to raise money so they can start over again. While investigators search for the exact cause of this tragedy, this community has vowed to wrap its arms around and comfort the family. In River Falls, Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. The teenager who lived at the home will be staying with a close family friend until his mother is healed. We have information on our website if you'd like to help the family.